if you take a look inside the receiver here, you'll see that this charging handle goes in like so. Now there's a little notch here. You see this notch on the charging handle. Let me get a better look at it there. But So you see that notch has to index in a certain part of the upper receiver. Now if we look at the upper receiver, you'll see that particular piece right in here. So we're going to put it in like such. Now when you press it down, it's not going to lock into place until it reaches that opening. See, and then it slides freely. Now this groove here um, is going to guide the bolt carrier like such. This hole here is for the gas tube. You see that? So it's going to guide the carrier straight up to where the gas tube meets and then the the bolt carrier is going to reciprocate inside the um, upper receiver housing um, along with the with the charging handle. So you see how it locks into place here and that's effectively how you're able to pull it back with the charging handle. Um, one thing you have to know about assembling or reassembling this is see how the bolt moves forward and backwards inside the carrier, you have to make sure that it's pulled forward to um, insert into the receiver. So I'll show you this again. The charging handle goes down inside there, notches in, then I usually push it forward just a little bit. We're going to line up the carrier again with the uh, bolt out and forward. Um, just kind of sit the gas tube in the housing there, and then we push everything forward, and then it snaps in. So you'll see underneath here, this is the section where the, um, where the hammer will actually operate underneath it and smack the firing pin. So <clears throat> something else worth seeing here is the dust cover door snaps shut. Now when you pull the charging handle back, you see that it, it, it opens and that's as this portion here um, comes in contact with the bolt carrier here, it just forces that door open, see like such. Now you'll notice on the carrier here all these ridges um, and they're only on one side. This part works with the forward assist. So you'll notice that if I put the bolt forward just enough and then I operate the forward assist, you see that as it catches all of those little teeth, it moves the bolt forward just a little bit more. Um, haven't really had to use the forward assist too much. The only time you'll really need to use that is if your gun is starting to get really dirty and the bolt carrier isn't um, sliding forward as freely as it should. Um, so that's pretty much it for the carrier itself.